Use cases are very important because they provide a framework and the general direction for the technical work of the project. In addition, use cases ensure that the technical solutions developed by the project respond to real need of the industry and their users. We have a total of six use cases targeting four verticals, so that's media and entertainment, public warning, the Internet of Things and automotive. In Work Package 2 we started by gathering ideas for the use cases. At the same time we have reviewed use cases developed by 3GPP, the ITU and also by other projects in 5GPPP. Next, we have defined a limited set of representative use cases for each of the four vertical sectors that the project seeks to address. For media and entertainment we have three use cases. The first is the hybrid broadcast service, which is about giving users access to linear and non-linear audiovisual material as they move between different environments and in a seamless manner. The second use case is around augmented and virtual reality and there the challenge is delivering very high quality content to lots of users simultaneously. And the third use case is around remote live production, so seeing how the techniques developed in 5GX Cast can apply to production workflows. I'm going to talk a little bit about public warning. Public warning is based on a broadcast technology that broadcasts text messages. Broadcast technology is used because it allows to reach many people, up to millions of people, concurrently within seconds. Having said that, a text message doesn't contain much information. For example, an Amber Alert could say, a 10-year-old boy, blonde hair, one meter tall, blue eyes is missing, if you've seen him, please contact the police. That's not very helpful. What would be helpful is a picture of the boy. All this requires multimedia broadcast, and that is what we're developing in 5G XCast project for the PWS use case. For V2X and XCast, we're looking at two ways we can use broadcast. So the first is delivering sort of general information to a specific region and to cars and vehicles within that region uh, that they may find useful. For example, uh, traffic information, road conditions, uh, which can help augment uh, automated driving or even manual driving just to inform the driver of what's going on around them. The second case is alerting. Now, in this case, we can use broadcast to relay information to vehicles on the road of upcoming hazards. Uh, say, for example, a lane is blocked on a highway, we can let users know that they will need to take evasive maneuvers to ensure that they're, that they're as far away from the hazard as possible. Imagine that thousands of IoT devices are deployed in a geographic area. For instance, smart water metering devices are installed inside the building. The devices uh, sleep most of the time to save the battery. They may wake up once or twice a day to send the data report to the water supplier. These IoT devices may receive the software update, uh, for instance, regular or critical bug fixes, performance improvement or new features, functionalities, multicast and postcast is a great tool to deliver the software update to thousands of IoT devices at once. That's why in 5 gs card we have chosen uh, the use case for IoT verticals. For the derived use cases in the project, we have then defined requirements and these are the set of conditions that need to be fulfilled in order to enable these use cases in practice. So at this point in the project, uh, these requirements were quite high level and it's now the task of the working groups to define more technical requirements that will allow us to, to provide key performance indicators. And this is very important because it will allow us to, uh, to provide a benchmark of state-of-the-art technologies or the techniques, the new techniques and approaches we are going to derive and to propose uh, within our project.